Hi, welcome to the first lesson of Excel training. Uh, what is Excel? So Microsoft Excel is the industry leading spreadsheet software program and a powerful data visualization and uh, analysis tool. In Microsoft Office 2021 or Microsoft Office 365, you get a bunch of softwares like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Outlook. Even whether it is a Microsoft 365 or Microsoft Office 2021, you get Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Outlook. But in Microsoft 365, you get all the latest features and always it is up to date. So now move on to how to create an excel file first of all we need to make sure that in uh, in our computer we have this ms office software installed so once it is installed go to the start go to the uh, start or the search and look for excel and uh, once you find this uh, excel with a green icon just click on that application now you get a blank uh, there is an option to create a new excel file so here you get few options like uh, one to start with a blank workbook or we can go with any templates so let me click more templates you will find other templates are here and uh, these are all ready-made excel softwares if one of the software is matching your requirement you can go ahead with that one or even you can modify that template otherwise go for a new excel blank workbook in this case, let me go to the uh, uh, blank Excel workbook. Okay, once I click the Excel blank workbook, I am directly go to the sheet and the sheet called sheet number one. So this is the default sheet, and by default, we get uh, one sheet in the workbook. In Excel, this Excel file is called a workbook. And in workbook, by default, you get a sheet called sheet number one. The name is sheet number one. But if you want to have more sheets, click on the plus button that is next to the sheet number one. Just click on that one. Then you get a sheet number two. And if you click again, you can you get multiple sheets. You can create as many as sheets you want. And in order to change the name of the sheet, just double tap the name of the sheet and then change to another one decide or just right click and right click on the name you'll find few options like rename or you can delete the sheet or you can move the sheet to another file or we can change the color of the tab so in this case let me change the color of the tab now you can see that the first sheet got a different color so same way you can do the different colors and naming on per sheet okay now back to the sheet number one and uh, let, let's go through the interface of this excel so once you have this excel on the top you will find a quick access toolbar so in the quick access toolbar few tools are already present for example the save undo and redo three different tools are available there but uh, if you wish to add few more you can add from here for example i just wanted to open uh, other excel files frequently so i need this tool available in my quick access toolbar just click on it now you'll find the open tool is available in the quick access toolbar and uh, if i want another thing more than uh, more tools you can find out the more different uh, tools present in more command just click on more commands you will find the option You'll find the customize quick access toolbar option and choose the tool that you want for example i want to use insert picture okay click on it and click add then you will find the tool appeared here and click ok or you can have multiple uh, you can choose multiple uh, tools and then click add and then just click ok now you'll find that tool appeared in here so that i can easily use that tool so that is the main use of quick access toolbar so below the quick access toolbar the excel ribbon in that excel ribbon 
uh, different tabs are there the home tab insert tab and other tabs are available in the ribbon toolbar okay now coming to that spreadsheet so as you can see uh, we got many different rows and columns okay because spreadsheet means spreadsheet means uh, a sheet that has rows and columns rows and columns okay and here the rows are labeled as numbers numerical numbers like 1 2 3 4 5 till 1 million so around 1 million rows are present in one sheet and also the columns a b c the alphabet are the name of the columns and then if i go to the right side you will find the last one is xft that is around 16000 columns are there so exact number is 16384 and rows are 1 million rows okay. an intersection of a row and column is called a cell that means the green one this green one is called the cell and the name of the cell so when i click a cell it gets highlighted and you can see that the column d is uh, highlighted and column row number nine is highlighted so the name of the cell is d9 the alphabet comes first and the number comes second d9 or you can find the name in the name box that that's situated above the spreadsheet d9 or if you click any cell you will find the name appeared in the name box okay okay next let me talk about the mouse pointer in excel so as you can see that the mouse pointer present in excel is a thick plus sign as you can see this thick plus sign and when i hover the mouse on the top of the cell border you will find four arrows pointing in four different directions and the third icon that you see is when i hover the mouse on the top of the square button that is in the bottom right side of the cell a thin plus sign so these are the three major icons that you find when you hover the mouse within the spreadsheet and also if you hover the mouse between the column then again it's a different icon showing two arrows pointing in opposite direction and same goes here this time it is vertically in opposite direction so what is the use of these icons okay so by default plus sign is always present when you hover the mouse through the excel and that is mainly for selecting the cells so how do we select the cells just click that is how i select the cells or if i want to select more than one cell just click hold then drag to select multiple cells okay just click and hold and drag it or just click once and then click again and hold it and then drag to select multiple cells so mainly this sign is for selecting the cells if i want to do some actions on on some cells i need to select it this is how we can do it and the second option is uh, the four arrows let me select the cell now my mouse is on the top of the cell border now i click hold and drag and move to another cell so that the cell is actually moved the data is actually moved from that cell to another cell uh, it's not about one cell you can select multiple cells and then you will find the border the green border and then just click and hold it and drag to any other place so we can move it so when you move it we need to make sure that you are moving this data to a blank cells or if you're keeping the data to a place where the data is there then the excel give you an error message or warning there is already data here do you want to replace it if i click ok this data is going to replace the word workbook and keep the data if you don't want it just click cancel okay so that is the use of the second mouse pointer and third one is called fill handle that is called the fill handle Suppose if I write the uh, 1 here and then I select that cell and use this fill handle and if I drag all the way down so Excel copy the same number uh, 
within that range. Now I wrote 1 and 2. Now I'm selecting 1 and 2 cells together. So I currently select 2 cells, but you will find only 1 fill handle within that selection. You will not see 2 fill handle, just 1. Okay. In this case, I choose that fill handle and drag all the way down. So what happened? It populates the remaining numbers in the selection. Because Excel understood the pattern, because I select 1 and 2, so Excel understood the pattern, so he is giving me 3, 4, 5, like that. And what if I write 10 and 20? So if I write 10 and 20, then it will give me 40, 50, like that. And what if I write January? Or what if I write uh, week name Monday? So it can populate it. It uh, for month and uh, date. It, it doesn't require two. Just one is fine. And if I write today's date, today's date is seventeen zero eight three twenty three. And if I click hold and drag, so it populates the uh, uh, following dates. So this is use of fill handle. Next, I'll talk about the mouse pointer when I hover on the top of the borders of columns. Okay. Now, if I click and hold it, and then drag towards the right side. This is how I can increase the width of a column. Okay. Or I can drag it. Same goes to the column, just I can hold it and drag all the way down. Yeah. This is how I can adjust the column width and the row height of the Excel cells.